I'm back. Hi. So in this case, I would probably use the GoFundMe as opposed to the Kickstarter if it takes a little longer for me to um, have to come up with my goal. Okay. Um, I was very upset when I saw uh, Boyce Watkins trying to reach out to this guy. And But what disturbs me most is about all these guys, even from Dr. Boyce Watkins. So I'm not letting him off the hook. Or Zoe Williams, who I love a lot. All these young people. And I'm looking at the, um, just the fucking, uh, how do you call it? The common, small-minded uh, attitude that we're having concerning sex. Concerning the way the uh, the construct it goes, where I can t uh, get your money and tell people I'm celibate, but I'm really out here fucking everybody. And only accountability people will say is, "Oh, well, that person is single." What the fuck is that? See, you cannot lead God's people. You cannot lead the people, you know. Or and, and I don't. And I, when I say lead, I mean I, there are certain things that. If I'm going to do, I'm not going to put myself in certain positions to say certain things unless I'm 100% honest with you. And I'm going to tell you first so you won't have to worry about finding out something crazy about me. Whatever it is. Okay, I'm not going to get on talk shows again and say that I'm celibate when I'm fucking out of both draw legs. I'm not going to do that. It's just so stupid. When I can just come out and say, look, I got a whole bunch of character defects that I'm working on. Um, I like a whole bunch of sex. Uh, whatever. Um, I won't get into details, but I would probably pretty much, if you ask me and I feel it necessary to know, and, the, and I'm not going to put myself out there like this squeaky clean person or a person that has the right to tell you how you are damaging a woman and then turn around and do the same damage to her myself. If that's not the epitome of hypocrisy, I don't know what is. And I don't know how y'all feel so fine with that. See, that's a problem for me. Maybe because of my old, all of my old programming in the Nation of Islam, hypocrisy is one of the most fucked up things you can deal with. You know what I'm saying? So I have that in me. That I really don't have no, I'd be messed up about you. I don't mind you making mistakes. That's fine. But when I see you trying to trick somebody or fool somebody and you a fucking hypocrite, that like what Jimmy Swagger did, getting up and you know, condemning prostitutes on Sunday morning and talking all about the hoes and shit, obsessed with them, and then all of a sudden you find out he's stroking the streets looking for hoes. See, that that kind of shit is fucked up. It it, it says something to your character. You know? I would much rather say, listen, you know I uh I got a weakness with these hoes. <laughs> I got a weakness. And I'm hoping that God deliver me. Because he can. Whatever my situation is. But to get out there and be hip hip hypocritical about it all is a problem for me. Lastly, when you look about him saying that he's going to uplift and he's doing this um, for the psychological damage that has been done to the black minds. Did you think about that woman's son's? Because she, this is a stripper now. She had three sons. And how do you think they feel that you use their mama for a jump off? This is the same, very same behavior that you sitting up here talking about. That you don't want to go for. And that we should stop. But you're the ringleader. And you fuckers don't see this? You fuckers are trying to just uh, narrow this down to, oh, he just got some pussy. That's not half the problem. That's not. I don't think people are upset uh, that are upset that's taking my position are that upset because he got some pussy. I don't even think that's half of it. I think it entails the, just the diabolical, clandestine, hypocritical nature and the narcissist overtone that I'm the prince of Pan-African and can't nobody fuck with me and if you say something about me and fuck, that's the shit that concerns me. So now I'm going to let y'all know. You can say whatever you want to say. Please. Just like or and subscribe. Maybe if you ain't got to like. Subscribe. Because I'll say a lot of shit you might not like. But I'm glad you're there. Okay. And I'm going to open the door. And welcome you to tell me your shitty comments. I'm not going to be like Brother Umar. 
block your motherfucking ass off and don't say nothing. Yeah, I'll let you come and shit on my page. You have every right. You can do what I say, whatever you want to say. That's how I feel right now. I might not feel that way later, but this is how I feel right now. Okay? Because that's how, that's what starts the dialogue. This is some crazy shit. Dr. Umar is showing me signs of a straight narcissist. A straight one. No chaser. Now, the sad part about it is, all y'all that are giving money to him and don't want to have any accountability, make him have any accountability and call people like me haters, don't say shit when he take your money and run and then tell you he going to build a school in Africa because shit ain't working right here. Okay? Don't be surprised. Now, other than that being said, Brother Umar can continue to go and speak the truth that he's speaking about this uh, psychological damage that the school system does to our children, the riddling and all the psychotropic drugs that they are in, uh, 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 in, in, um, injecting our children with. I know because I used to run a group home. Okay? And one of the things that I used to continue to get sanctioned for was I had a problem continuing to administer this medication that I knew every two a month we had to get these children's heart checked. And I was like, this is some bullshit. So I began to do a little bit more research on what I was giving the children. And that was long before I even, uh, Brother Umar even wrote a book. That was way before that. I had a problem with giving these kids some of this medicine. I'm like, this is crazy. And they would have all these dark spots under their eyes like bags. Hell, I'm over 50. I got a few. I had some kids in there five and six years old that had as many dark spots under their eyes as I did. Mm -mm. I didn't need no white people or no institution or no white supremacy rule to tell me, I'm not going to do this. I'm not, I got to figure out a way out. With that being said, I'll leave it like that, allegedly. Okay. What I will say is I don't play with people's kids and I wouldn't want to play with people's minds. I wouldn't want to tell people that I'm going to build a school and you ask me uh, any questions about the school and I get mad. And everybody is a hater because they want to question me. Black people need to start questioning some, some shit. We need to stop looking for somebody to save your motherfucking ass. Okay, you're always looking for something outside yourself to save you. Save your own ass by getting this money. You wasn't born with a Bible or Quran or Umar Johnson strapped to your ass. Anything you want to know, just get to research. And there are guides along the way, like Brother Umar, uh, Brother Ben. Brother Sadie, Brother uh, uh, Farrakhan, whoever you want to talk about. But the ultimate goal and the ultimate deliverance of and freedom is going to have to come from you. Okay? It's going to have to come from you. And now that I feel a little better, I can take this hat off and I can revert back to this one. And guess what? I want y'all... So seriously think about what I said. Not that I'm just here to shit on Umar Johnson. But Umar Johnson is shitting on his own self. And he's shitting on everybody else. And I got sick and tired of it. Um, and I didn't live too long. I didn't watch too many assassinations. I didn't see too much bullshit. And I have put my life on the line. I have been in jail uh, for the liberation of my people. Okay. So I have every right to speak what I'm speaking right now. And guess what? You don't have to fucking know me. Just know what I said. Keep an eye on Brother Umar. Don't sleep on him. And don't keep letting him get away with all this narcissistic type of behavior. Hold him accountable like you would do me or any other person that you've given their money to, your money to. Okay? Be blessed. I appreciate you for being out there. And have a wonderful, wonderful day. Hit the link in the low box. Like, subscribe. Bye-bye.